Welcome back, it's Dr. Teague here with the collaboration with Kiki. Little bits of health, you know, snippets to help you through your day. Um, today's gonna be a little bit short, short and sweet, but we're gonna talk about something that, you know, is important. It's a, it's a building block, unfortunately, for worse medical problems down the track. And the one I'm talking about is cholesterol. So I'm sure, you know, either you, yourself or a family member or a friend, you've heard that, oh man, my, my, my cholesterol is quite high. You know, the doctor says I, I need to cut back. So w w what does that mean really? Well, cholesterol is, is it's basically, it's a, in a way, it's a fat. And depending on the type, you have chains. So kind of like if you take uh, somebody's bit, bit of uh, pearl jewelry, and each of those little bits are connections. And what that connection provides is actually is energy. Now, you have ones that the chains are longer, a little bit more complex. You have ones where the chains are shorter and less complex. And really, which one it is really doesn't matter. The, the importance to understand is there is a balance. This is what we call good cholesterol. And then we're, there's something we call bad cholesterol. And it's all about that balance I was talking about. It's being able to say, hey, we need to keep things in check. Why? Because if you have an overarching amount of bad cholesterol, so if you have too much really, that can lead to other problems. That can lead to heart attacks, that can lead to kidney failure, that can lead to strokes. So it's important that you kind of work with your doctor or learn about how to keep that in check. So it's, there's some simple things, really. Again, a healthy lifestyle cannot be, I cannot stress that enough. So eating well, decreasing the amount of really red meats and fat, fat uh, in your diet, you know, losing weight are all important because you know, there's one thing about your doctor throwing tablets at you and you just taking lots and lots of tablets. One, it's frustrating. Two, it's expensive. So if you can change your life in some way, shape or form that decreases the amount of tablets you need to take, the trips you need to make to the doctor, you know, that's fine. That's actually better for you in the long run. So keep in mind healthy lifestyle, talking to your doctor, but decreasing the amount of bad cholesterol that's in your bloodstream because what happens is that molecule then can lead, basically, if there's damage to the blood vessel lining, it gets into there and then causes narrowing and thinning and what we call plaques and a technical term called atherosclerosis, but we won't get into that. I can't pronounce it half the time. But what it means is you take these big pipes that then get thinner and thinner and that leads to obstruction because you have, like you're saying here, too much pressure, you know, high blood pressure, that leads to narrowing the blood vessels so the organs at the end of it don't get the blood that they deserve or need, and so your body has to work a bit harder. So it's important that over the long term, you have, you know, you increase your healthy cholesterol, you decrease your bad cholesterol, and you make yourself a little bit better and find that balance that you need to. So like I said, just something really short and sweet that's something that's actually quite important to you as a, as a person, and your longevity and your healthy life. So until next time, it's Dr. Teague.